welcome back to my channel. I'm Tay and it's Monday, which means that it's a Cricut tutorial. And today I am teaching you guys how to import your own images. This is a super simple beginner tutorial, but it's very useful. So let's get going. And if you guys are not subscribed, check out the subscribe button. And you guys can check out the links down below if you guys want to become a patron or you want some coupon codes for your Cricut stuff. All right, let's go. Welcome back to Design Space. This is a Design Space. <clears throat> I'm not dying, but I sound like it sometimes. Um, this is a Design Space tutorial, and today we are going to talk about uploading your own images. This might sound really basic to certain people, especially because we've been doing some extensive stuff on YouTube. Um, but I wanted to put this up just in case someone's here and brand new, and I'm going to start doing some new tutorials for some new beginners. Okay, so one of the biggest questions from Cricut is how do you upload your own images? So what we're gonna do is we are going to go to Google because that's the best place to find anything. And we're gonna search. Say today we want to do a picture of, let's see, let's not waste too much time on this. Let's do a Disney castle today. Okay, so we want to upload our own image let's just go crazy and find an actual image and we're going to pretend like we're going to do print and cut today because this would obviously not be something we want to cut out in vinyl unless it's print and cut vinyl so we're going to save this and i should have named it i'm really bad at that so then when you're in design space you're just going to click upload images you're going to click upload image you're going to go browse you are going to find your image that you just saved that we were really bad at labeling so we're just gonna have to look with our eyeballs and there it is we're gonna open it we are going to turn this definitely into a complex image because simple image will dumb it down a bit which is kind of cool for if you want to do this with vinyl a moderately complex image which this would not work because this was a JPEG because we would actually need to separate that all into layers so we're going to do a complex image so it picks up all of those vibrant colors so that when we print this, um, we get all those colors. Then it's going to take you to this little spot where it's going to ask you, where do you want this to cut when it cuts? Now, let's just try some stuff just to show you guys. Obviously, this is not what I would do, but I'm going to pick a few spots just to show you how you play with a picture. So... I'll also go in and do a clip art after this because this is really going to get kind of confusing. So let's click continue. So when you go to here with your image, you have the option to save it as a print and cut, which just means that it's going to save all those pretty colors and you can print this and then cut it and it's going to cut where you told it that you wanted to cut. This is really good for planner stickers and things like that, which if you are interested in that type of stuff, check out more of my videos. This is the cut image, and I always like to wait till this loads so I can check and make sure I got all the spots that I wanted to because it's really simple. But if I saved this as a cut image, all it's going to do is save it as one solid color and it'll cut this shape out. It won't save all this. So we're going to save this as a print and cut. And I'll show you a diff I'll, I'll show you how with a clip art we would do something over here. Um, so while this is waiting, I'm going to go over to Google, and I'm going to find something. Let's just find Mickey clip art. And let's just find a simple picture of Mickey that has some good lineage. I mean, these are all good, but I, for the example, I want to show you. Okay, let's just find him like this. Let's. Oh, and he's already a PNG, so he doesn't have a background. I'm going to find something that has a white background. So let's go with this Mickey. Save image as. Let's label him Mickey example I'm gonna save them on de desktop and then let's go back to design space see how that's doing oh okay so you want to tag your images so that you can find them later Disney example sometimes when you're importing large images it takes a little bit longer um, SVGs are really good because they just upload right away um, which you can find SVGs on Etsy or free downloads, and you can upload those as well, just the same, and they'll go right in. So then let's do the other guy. Let's find Mickey Clip Art. This was on our desktop that I clearly need to clean off. So I have him already, but let's just do the one that we saved anyways. 
So now you'll see that he is much more simple. He only has a few different colors. So sometimes we can get away with a simple image, but that's not enough colors in case we wanted to save him as a print and cut. Let's go with moderately complex or complex. Let's just go with complex to get all of his colors to be safe. So now is where, right now, all this would do would be print and it would cut this rectangle right here. We don't want that. So we want to take away all the background. Now what it's telling us is we want to be able to print this and take all of the background out. So when it cuts, it's going to cut right around his outside. But I want to go a step beyond. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you what I mean by this. So we're going to save this as a print then cut and it's going to register all these cut lines. If we just wanted him to cut, this is what we would do. And this would be a big blob of vinyl. Say we want to do a vinyl project. We're going to actually go back and I'm going to cut out all of these little pieces that I want. I'm going to leave this eye to show you what I mean for another step. I'm also going to leave these little circles to see if that's, if I want to um, leave those or, or take them out. So now I'm going to go and you'll see that print then cut would look like this. And look at, if I were to print then cut him, um, like here I can see his eyeball is missing that spot. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to leave these and now I look at it and I don't want to leave them because they just look hollow. They look like almost like they're uh, like open and you see a skin underneath. So I want to go back and this was all for teaching purposes. I want to go back and take his eye out and take these guys out and continue. And let's look where it's going to cut before we click go. And I like that much better. These register now as buttons better and his eye looks better. And everything looks good, so I'm going to save him as a cut image. You could save him as a print then cut, but he's just black, so I wouldn't take waste my time saving him as that. And you can, now can cut him out of vinyl, You can, and it's going to cut in all these lines real nice like. Okay, so now we're going to tag him as Mickey. Um, vinyl. Silhouette. Lots of words that you can find him later in case you have a ton of Mickeys like I do. And we're going to save him. And then he's ready to go. So I'm just going to show you guys the more extensive version of what we're going to do. So let's go in here. And let's insert these images. And the nice thing is now he is a cricket vector image. So he's scalable. He can get really big. And we can also visualize him in different colors if you wanted to cut him out of pink vinyl or whatnot. This is set right here to print. So when you would click go on here, it would prompt you to print this out first and then cut it. This would not because it's set to cut. So then we would click go and we would follow through with the rest of our Cricut stuff that we would do. So that's how simple it is just to upload your own images to Cricut Design Space. Super simple. If you guys want more simple tutorials for Design Space, let me know and I will let I will try to upload them to my channel. And if you guys don't have a Cricut, don't know what one is, then it'd be odd for you guys to be watching this video. But um, make sure you check out the link down below and there's always or, uh, links and coupons down there for you guys to get deals and steals and all that. So thanks for watching. Love you guys. Bye.